Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl from Elungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, not forget to subscribe. Today, I'm going to be um, reacting to 10 surprising math miracles in the Quran. I don't know why I've taken so long to react to this because I just want it on my laptop. So sorry if I took time to react to your stuff. And if we're taking long, just bear with us. We're very busy, but we'll get to react to whatever you've suggested. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Muslims hold the teachings of the religion of Islam very close to heart. And a big part of this is the belief that the Quran is filled with miracles that would be impossible for a human to come up with. Welcome back everyone to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and of course we're continuing our series focusing on the religion of Islam. In this episode we're looking at 10 surprising math miracles in the Quran according to Muslim belief. So let's take a look. Starting at number 10, Surah Nu, also known as Noah. In Surah Nu, which is the 71st chapter of the Quran, it has 28 verses in this chapter and that makes the difference between these two numbers 43 as 71 take away 28 equals 43 and something that Muslims point to is that it turns out that the Prophet Nu or Noah is mentioned in the Quran exactly 43 times besides this there are 43 chapters following Surah Nu until the end of the Quran and these 43 chapters contain no mention of Noah at all also the chapters of the Quran that do mention the Prophet Nu they're 28 in total which is the exact number of verses in Surah Nu. Number nine leads us to the math miracle in Surah al naml In Surah al naml which is the 27th chapter of the Quran, there's a total of 93 verses in this chapter. Now this chapter begins with apparent random letters and in Surah 21 verses 1, this is what it says, Ta Sin. These are the verses of the Quran and a clear book. Now, the term ta and sin, which are written as single unit and pronounced together as ta sin, the first letter appears throughout the chapter 27 times, which also, of course, is the chapter number. And also the second apparently random letter appears 93 times, which is the exact number of verses in that chapter. Surah al nal comes in at number eight. Another thing to note is that the code of 16 found in Surah al nal which is in the 16th chapter of the Quran, there's a note that the male bees, known as drones, have 16 chromosomes, while the female worker bees, as well as the queen bees, have 16 pairs of chromosomes. On top of that, another thing to note is that the queen bees emerge from the egg in 16 days, and the number of verses in this chapter is 128, which is a multiple of 16, because 16 times 8 is 128. And of course, half of the number, 128, is 64, which is another multiple of 16. And researchers have found that 64 of this chapter's verses contain the name of Allah, while 64 of them do not contain the name of Allah. Let's look at the math miracle now in Surah 96. First verses of the Quran that Muslims believe were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad were the first five verses of chapter 96. And in the Quran, that says, recite in the name of your Lord who created, created man from a clinging substance, recite, and your Lord is most generous, who taught by the pen, taught man that which he knew not. That's specifically found in Surah 96 verses 1 to 5. Now the name of the chapter is the Alaq, which scholars have described as an early stage of a human being inside of the womb. And now the Arabic word Alaq, which translates to clinging substance, is the ninth word in the Arabic Surah. Now the ninth prime number in math is 23, which is the exact number of DNA chromosome pairs found in humans. The miracle of number six involves prime numbers. Prime numbers which have confused mathematicians for many, many, many years. They make up a really strong and recurring key element throughout the Quran. Another prominent key element in the Quran includes specific words and numbers such as 114, which is the total number of chapters 
in the Quran. So I'll probably leave some of those for part two. There's a whole lot of math miracles associated with the Quran. But speaking of that, by the way, we also did a video about 10 surprising scientific miracles in the Quran. That video is really exciting. It's really eye-opening, very fascinating, interesting stuff that we explore in that one. So I'll link to it below in the video description section. I'll also have it in the card section of this episode. And also for you guys who want to expand your knowledge about different religions around the world, I do have a playlist filled with those videos as well. I'll also link to it down below in the video description section. Continuing now with number five, let's look at the math miracle in Surah 83. So in two places, the 83rd Surah speaks of numerically structured books. Now the term numerically structured books in Arabic is the term Kitabun Markum. And these verses are believed to be evidence of God encoding the books and evidence of God being involved in the mathematical systems. And we read in the Quran, Surah 83, verses 7 to 9, it says, Indeed, the book of the wicked is Sijin. Do you know what Sijin is? A numerically structured book. The math miracle involving opposites comes next. In Surah 89, verses 3, it says, and by the even number and the odd number. So, as it's noted in the Quran, the number of angels and devils were both mentioned 88 times. Heat and coolness are both mentioned four times. Summer and winter are both mentioned once. Woman and man were both mentioned 24 times. Worry and assurance were mentioned 13 times each, as well as belief and disbelief are both mentioned nine times. There's also a math miracle found in the ninth chapter of the Quran. So the first statement in the Quran is, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. By the way, that consists of 19 Arabic letters known as the Basmala. It's actually the preface of every chapter except chapter 9 in the Quran. And although it is missing from chapter Chapter 9, when you look 19 chapters later, the Basmala happens twice in the Quran. So chapter 27 has a statement at its beginning and in the verse 30 it says, Indeed, it is from Solomon and indeed it reads, In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. So this makes a total number of times that the Basmala occurs in the Quran, 114 or 19 times 6 times, which is equal to the number of chapters in the Quran. Number two involves a miracle about many different numbers in the Quran. So yes, there are so many different ones. And as a matter of fact, number seven is one of the main ones that come up in the Quran. So it seems like this number has a strong relationship with the way our universe was actually created and structured according to Muslim theology. Because it's believed that the earth actually has seven layers, as well as the atmosphere has seven layers. It's believed that the universe has seven different skies. This is often referred to as heaven the sky, heavens, sometimes are used interchangeably. Also, the number of verses in the Quran that refer to the seven skies is actually seven. And the first time the number seven is mentioned in the Quran, it was in chapter 2, verses 29, when the Quran says, It is he who created for you all of that which is on the earth. Then he directed himself to the heaven, his being above all creation, and made them seven heavens, and he is knowing of all things. And the final time the number seven is mentioned in the Quran is in chapter 78, verses 12, where it says, and constructed above you seven strong heavens. And the final math miracle in this episode that I'm gonna share with you has to do with the earth. So this is a very fascinating thing. Let's take a look at the number of times that the term month was mentioned in the Quran, and that is 12 times. Day is also mentioned 365 times. Sea is mentioned 32 times. Land is mentioned 13 times. And sea plus land, which is 32 plus 13, equal 45. Now, apparently modern science has only recently discovered that the following figures actually represent the exact proportions of the sea and land on earth. So the percentage of sea is 32 over 45 times 100%, which is 71%. And the percentage of land that the earth is made up of goes by the figure of 13 over 45 times 100, which equals 28.8 and a whole bunch of eights follow there and that's a percentage. So it's about 71.1% of sea makes up the earth as well 
well as 28.8% of the earth is made up of land. And that's where we're gonna end off this episode. Thank you so much for making it this far. Be sure to leave your thoughts and comments down below about anything that I mentioned in this episode. Also, don't forget to check out the videos that I recommended to you. Again, those links are below in the video description section for you. It's always awesome hanging out with you here on FTD Facts and talking about the different religions and the people and the cultures and the countries, all that good stuff here on FTD Facts. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Very interesting video. This this thing where uh, numbers are associated with the Quran uh, or what not or what's written in some place in the Quran. My question to you guys is: Are these numbers that we should pay attention to, or it's just one of those of? It's one of those things like matter of factly. This have this is mentioned these times. Are, are they things that we should? know by heart that this is 32 times days 365 times a day in the bible what what's it about these numbers i think i've reacted to a numbers um, video before and this should be my second one if i'm not mistaken so what are your thoughts on the video and please feel free to educate me more so that i understand this video uh further so yeah Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it to the friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.